working on the 2016 Tahoe. We want to change the thermostat and the coolant temp sensor uh, because the fan are not shutting off when the truck is turned off. It goes into overdrive and it just run, run, run. Tools you'll be needing and this install. This right here is the thermostat housing or the thermostat. This right here is the coolant sensor. Get your extra coolant. You need a socket extension, size 10. Take the battery apart. And then a flathead. Don't forget the blue thread locker when you put the bolts back in. Thermostat housing. I didn't have to need an old, so I got a baby uh, vice grips. But these are everything you're gonna need to make this install a breeze. I'm gonna first go by taking the ground off of the battery. take much to loosen it up. Just sit it to the side there. Next, we wanna come over here. There's a couple of different ways you could do it, but you know, this is the way I'm doing it. Disconnect this, unscrew this. Loosen it up to where it slide off real easy. A little chilly out here this morning, so I'm gonna try hurry up. But over here, this right here, you need to come off. Just press this up, press it forward. It should come off. It's on there pretty tight. Let's set this camera down. comes off you press push this up push it forward you get past this little lip here and it slide right off just sit that out to the side there's another one on the other side Put this one on the other side here and you take that off as well all right now we got the other side off this right here is, is off of the throttle body over here you have this the slot here that the this big box sits on so you just lift up and sit this to the side All right, so now you have more room. There's your coolant temp sensor there. This is the thermostat housing. So next, what we're gonna do is disconnect this coolant hose that runs here. We'll just disconnect this side here. Then what we're gonna do is take these three bolts off for the thermostat housing. We're gonna take this off. This is another coolant hose. Comes up here and run across there to the coolant, to the coolant jug. And after we take this off and reinstall it, we'll take the sensor off. It'd be best if you had some needle nose. 
can just squeeze this together. The coolant is gonna come out. I do have a catch can at the bottom. It just slide right off. All right, now we're going to undo this one. Just squeeze it. It'd be best if you had needle nose and just slide it off. Just work it up the holes. And this right here will come off. So we'll take our 10 millimeter and work on taking these three bolts off. One, two, three. The holes will come off with the housing. the video take this off and i uh, hit y'all back in a second now we got the holes off with the thermostat this is this holes how this whole housing holds the thermostat so it's all one piece so now what we're gonna do is remove this clamp right here so to separate these two and put install the other one. All right, so we got the new thermostat housing and thermostat on the old holes. Got it clamped back down. Now it comes with an O-ring gasket already installed. Just make sure you take the one off here off. This is the part number here for the thermostat, housing the thermostat. What we're gonna do is just lay this back on here after we clean up a little bit, it's still full, so we don't have to add anything there. Just make sure it's cleaned up around here before you get started. And what we wanna do is, take our blue thread locker, and add a little bit on our threads before installing back into these bolt holes. All right, after you install the housing thermostat deal, um, and you put the, full, the three bolts back in after you put the blue uh, thread sealing on it, you wanna start these bolts with by hand um, and then come back and just snug. They should not go no more than 11 foot pounds of torque. And you start, you know, going one side to another, just snugging them. So they all be even. Just wanna just snug it just a little bit because you'll crack it at that's aluminum, so you just wanna snug it.
So that's how you do that. Take our holes here, connect it back here. So removing the coolant temp sensor. It has a little safety lock on there. So basically what you do is combine this wire and just lift up on it. And it'll come right up. Just like that. All right, now we got the plug off. This coolant temp sensor should come out after you untighten it. It looks like it's been in there since the truck was built. <laughs> All right, we got a new one sitting right here. Here's the part number for it. I'm gonna take this out and replace it. hand tighten it first make sure you don't cross thread it okay we've got the new cooling temp sensor installed just connect it back make sure you put it on there correctly it'll snap back when you have it in place and just push that down to lock it make sure this is snug or this clamp right here is on make sure that's good Make sure the hose is on. All three bolts are torqued at 11 foot-pounds. We uh, connected the hose here. Now we're going to get back to putting this back on. And it slides right back. Make sure it goes back into this slot here, this metal slot there. While we're on this side, we're going to go on and connect this back. And you just push it back on there and it just snaps in place like it's supposed to. Do the same thing for this side. You hear it snaps there. Still connected to the back over there. And this one is still connected over here, so that's good there. And then we go back to tightness. Get it nice and snug. All right. And everything back together. Everything together. Everything's still intact. Come over here. Fill it up with coolant. Sit that right there so you won't forget it. Let's place it. shopping at O'Reilly's, but you know, you can go to AutoZone or Napa or whatever you like.
copper it off. Check the coolant level. It says it's full. Cap back on. Put the rest of it in the back. Boom. Put the cap back on. Snug it. It's a little dusty, but anyway, all right. So now what we'll do is connect the battery back. Put the negative back on there. Put our tools and stuff back up. Make sure the area, everything is clean. Make sure you don't leave anything under the hood. Well, make sure everything again. I'm just double checking, double check. You know, some people. No, but rather do it now than start it. Run down the road, something ain't done like it's supposed to. So you just want to make sure. So we're going to start it up and make sure there's no leaks. Make sure everything is working together. No check engine lights. Yeah. 